I'd like now to present to you the winner of the 2018 Crichton Medal, Devon Smith. You pulled the phone out. Phone's gone a bit crazy, as you know, Tim. Are well, you going to take a selfie of us no, up here? No, no, no. <laughs> Congratulations. This is, this is an unbelievable achievement from you. First season at the Essen Football Club and to win the best in Ferris. What's going through your mind right now? Oh, it's a lot, actually. Um, this time, 12 months ago, I really didn't know where I was at um, with my footy and, and life a bit. Um, I was a bit run down mentally and physically with uh, my body and where I was at um, and I knew it was time, the time was right for me to come home um, and ever since I met Essendon I really fell in love with the club. Um, yeah. um, I thought it'd take a bit longer for Dad to come round, he was a Collingwood <laughs> man but round one he was there with his triple XL on, uh, it was good. Um, but. Um, I've fallen in love with the club and the boys and the coaching staff and um, I remember uh, sitting down with Skippy and Cal um, and having a conversation about um, me being me and they encouraged me to be the player and the person that I wanted to be um, and that was really refreshing because I knew uh, I wanted to prove to myself and to a few people where I wanted to get back to. Um, and they encouraged me to play the way I want to play um, and that's tough fast footy, offensively, defensively, and um, it was probably my most consistent year to date. You were such a complete player this year though, Devon. Yeah, um, it's nice that, um, it's strange because in Sydney people just thought I was a small forward mm. and kicked goals and didn't defend, but my numbers beside tackling weren't vastly too different, so um, it was just nice to come home and get recognised a bit uh, for that side of the game. It's not nice to get recognised when you're putting uh, diesel in your, in your car at 7am. It's, uh, it's something I got used to that everyone's an Essendon fan around here. So uh, it is a cool thing and I thank the supporters and the, our fan base. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed, so thank you. It's a big club and it's a great club and, and they appreciate players like all fans do. Players that get out there and they not only do the glory stuff, they do the hard stuff, which you have been able to accomplish so many times this season as well. I spoke to Hep before about you know, the potential of this group. I mean, you must be really excited. So you came from a side, GWS, that was laden with talent, but you've come to a club that's got a lot, a lot of young talent as well. Yeah, it's massive. Uh, since the day I arrived, uh, I actually didn't realise how talented our, uh, say, 18 to 23-year-olds are. Um, and this year we didn't even have Joey on the park much, and he's, uh, he's probably in our top three. So he's going to be huge for us next year. And... Um, I really enjoyed my time before, as I keep harping on, but the vibe of the footy club is we work hard and we, we have some fun, but we, wanna, we know where we want to get to and um, our club's a powerful club and uh, I believe once we get the finals and hopefully a bit further that, you know what, it's our time. And Devon, just... <laughs> Are there some people that you would like to thank as well? Plenty of people. Um, our fitness staff, uh, Crowe, PT and Jesse, um, obviously coming across under a bit of an injury cloud for me. They tailored a perfect um, pre-season program that helped me in the best stead for having uh, play a full year and I did that. Um, playing three games in 12 uh, days is, is huge and a lot of us did this, that this year and um, I'd like to thank the, obviously the fitness staff, the physios, Sugar and Dave, even though Sugar's jokes are pretty crap, uh, he's a good fella. Um, Dave, the guru, as I call him. Um, I brought him plenty of coffees this year, but I know it's their job to look after us, but uh, the hours that they go above and beyond, it doesn't get unrecognised. So, um, and Brad and the staff here, yeah, Miss Susan, or not, thank you. Devon, thank you for uh, coming to the Essen Football Club. Uh, you've had a brilliant first season for the Essen Football Club, and I know that uh, 
There's plenty more years ahead of you as well. Congratulations again on winning the Crichton Medal in your first year at Essendon. Thank you. There's also a couple other people. Um, Dad and my brothers that are here tonight. Um, Dad was my coach for six years and I never actually won a BNF. This is my first BNF because he never gave me a vote, even though he was here before and he hasn't had a beer for six and a half months. So if you don't have one now, I tell you what, you're in trouble. Um, and also my girlfriend who um, puts up with me. Um, I can't walk probably till Wednesday because I'm that sore and I probably don't talk if we lost to Wednesday. So um, no, I'm only joking, I'm not that bad. Um, but she's been awesome for me. She's come to Sydney and we're back here now. And um, there's plenty of my teammates I'd love to thank as well. Tommy Bell, he's, um, he's a Tim Duncan of our group. Hooksy, we've got a bit of work on, but we're going to get there. Sadi, McGregor's going to smash um, old mate from Russia on the weekend. Um, Hurls, the turkeys are on me tonight. I can see you just there. They're on me. Um, Raz is probably the best bloke you'll meet in footy in life. Uh, I mean that. He's a good man. And um, there's so many more, but I'd love to thank my teammates because I wouldn't be here without them. Thank you. Just start to warm up now, Devin. I can see that. Ah. I'd like everybody now to be upstanding. Charge your glasses, please. I'll just wait till the boys grab a glass. To Zach Merritt, Dyson Heppel and Devin Smith, one, two and three in the Crichton Medal. Congratulations, fellas.